Once the DA, Democratic Alliance leader John Stianazen, made two contributions to politics this week, each at opposite ends of the scale and on the same podcast. Now, this party's leader spoke on podcast in Chile on Thursday. In the one hour and 18 minute long interview, Stianazen addressed several topics important to the electorate and cracked a joke every now and then. But what could have been an excellent interview was made by a joke that went one step too far, Mzansi. Yikes. Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the stories, go ahead, click the subscribe button and of course the bell and you'll never miss an update. Now, Mzansi, when host Magava Mugwevo, better known as Magi, asked uh, Sienes and flippantly what he understood a roadkill to be, the party leader answered that it sounded like his ex-wife. Yikes, Mzansi. Now, one minute of ridiculousness made the headlines, Mzansi, and may have negated a conversation of real substance. And it was the DA themselves, Mzansi, that pulled the trigger. Now, digital analyst Carmen Murray was surprised that a social media team would be as irresponsible. She said to post the worst aspect of otherwise informative and interesting podcasts, where CNAs and shows off both admirable leadership policy, a good sense of humor, was self-sabotage by the party. She said it placed Yenazan in a bad light when in context sexism may have never been his intention. Now Stenazan said to the citizen it's a comedy podcast not BBC hard talk. It is meant to be funny. On balance Murray lauded the podcast's contents and emphasized that the DA's communications team could have used any of the other 77 minutes of substance in uh, the material. She said it was an utterly convincing conversation that had the potential of convincing uh, even the most cynical voter to draw the X next to the DA next time around. A joke in a grey area in Women's Month should have been flagged and not promoted. Former DA MP Balin Duli posted, why would you promote a tweet where the leader of the opposition refers to his ex-wife and mother of his kids as a roadkill? Was it the joke here? Where is the joke there? Now, Murray said there has been some damage to the party and negative sentiment ramped up on uh, social media. Now, there you have it, Tim Zansi. Now, go ahead and watch that particular uh, uh, piece uh, or clip of the interview that Mike G had with the DA lead leader. But now, Zansi, are we just being a bit too sensitive? I mean, for me, that sounded like maybe a bad joke or a joke. I mean, sometimes even women refer to their exes as certain words or whatever. Is this sexism? And uh, did he take it a bit uh, too far? Let me know your thoughts, Tim Zansi, on the comment section. I loved hear from you but for now you know i will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it this is many weekends <laughs> after weekend special drop so what do you want to ask uh, you about uh, what does dango mean dango mm, dango thank you yeah hey! oh, he, he knows a bit of my <laughs> <laughs> out. we see how you got that one right and then this one is for the sake of the podcast yeah, yeah. what is roadkill what's roadkill Sounds a lot like my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we, if we have a case in 